Welcome to Creative Bath Lab. Today's video is inspirational soap. You can choose anything that you want. I chose flowers, so all of my soaps have flowers and an inspirational floral quote. You'll definitely need water-soluble paper. And if you want metallic words, you'll need deco foil as well. I did most of them in gold, but I did do some of them in rose gold. I looked up floral quotes and then built my own logos or whatever they're called. I've linked a PDF file of this in the description along with the supplies. Here are the flowers I chose for this project. Chop soap into small chunks that are about the same size. Choose your method for melting the soap. If you're using a burner, choose the lowest heat setting and don't allow the soap to heat over 150 degrees. soap to 140 to 150 degrees to add fragrance oil. For each pound of soap, you can add about 15 milliliters of fragrance. I'm going to be spraying alcohol before and after each layer to rid the soap of tiny bubbles. Make sure there aren't any flowers in front of the letters. Cover the flowers so the paper lays perfectly flat. If you're seeing this in real time, I don't have to wait for the layers to cool because they're so thin they naturally dry very quickly. Now that the text is down, feel free to put flowers anywhere. Dry soap completely before adding the last layer.
Make sure soap has cured completely before unmolding it. Some flowers turn different colors. You can see the rose petals have turned to a blue-green color. I'm just so thankful that they match. Fingerprints are very noticeable on the front, so try handling only the back and the sides until it's shrink-wrapped. Turn the heat gun on low. Turn the soap over and heat the shrink wrap so that the bumpy seams shrink on the bottom and stay there. Then quickly hit all the edges. Then hit them quickly once more. The soaps are beautiful and inspirational. They would look great in a guest bathroom. You can customize every aspect of it. A different theme, different dried herbs or flowers, different colored background, and so on. If you make this project, I'd love to see pictures on my Facebook, which is linked in the description along with helpful tips and the supply list.